Oh my gosh, dude. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. So today we end up getting another horseman bundle in the store, Famine. And this bundle has an ultra skin called Famine, which is the horseman in this bundle. And I think it looks fire, man. You got like a stench coming off of you, like flies all around you. I think it's a pretty damn cool skin. And you got like a little sickle on the back too. I, I think that's fire. But you also get two blueprints in this bundle that have quicksand tracers and uh, desiccation dismemberment, which is pretty cool. The executioner finishing move we got in this bundle is called the eternal hunger and essentially what you do in this execution is you unleash a dog that then disintegrates into toxic gas and flies and bugs all types of stuff and then it just completely decimates the enemy rips all their skin off and they just turn into bones it's definitely a pretty gruesome execution but make sure you guys do let me know down below in the comment section how you feel about this bundle i'm gonna give the skin a 7.5 out of 10 and from what i've seen of the execution so far a 10 out of 10 but like i said i'm excited to hop into a game and check it out hopefully you guys end up enjoying today's video if you do as always man make sure you drop a like down below also if you are new around here and you end up enjoying the content i'd really appreciate if you could also drop me a sub and without further ado man let's go and hop into a game check out this execution i decided to play caldera again for today's video and honestly i think it works out for executions a whole lot better than fortune's keep i feel like solos are just so crazy on that map because there's like 15 20 different angles you're always getting shot at duos trios and quads is perfectly fine on that map it ends up working out pretty damn well but whenever you play solos sometimes you just can't get your loadout going and it's just it's just overall a lot harder of a map that i noticed to play on when you're knifing and i think the main reason why it's so damn hard is because there's no like gel or like place for people to actually go to to try and get like their high kill game going obviously on rebirth island everybody just landed gel and they just tried to get as many kills as they possibly could then they went to outside areas of the map when it was kind of dead on fortune's keep i feel like everybody just lands everywhere and everywhere i try to land there's always another player or two there and it just makes it extremely difficult for me to make it out of situations so i just think caldera is the best place for us and we get our loadout at like five seconds left in the first circle so it just works out so damn well hopefully we can get a good couple executions going I, i'm not expecting to get like a ton or anything but i, I want to get a good few like four or five at least i'll be happy with that i think we got a good loadout drop here though should be a good couple players around this can can i get my loadout please thank you i think they're actually busting it down over here i'm gonna pull up and just see what's going on yeah he died right here there's another yep there he is i'm gonna try to heal up maybe he'll push Okay. I just need him to push or just do something where I can actually get a good stun on him. Last thing I want to do is push in here and get killed. I think he's all the way roof, bro. no sir you are executed oh wait it does have a dog what and then they okay well oh shit oh shit i'm about to die here man he had like no plates and this body is bugging out bro this guy's right here you can try it brother i just really wish i had some plates when you don't loot up at the beginning of games, it, it cucks sometimes, dude. Enemy nearby. Nah, dude, this terrible push for me. this guy is on my case i got so lucky killing that dude there yep there he is well at least i slowed him down a little bit oh yeah he's dipping can't really blame him This guy's running for his life, bro. Oh, I hit him. Got him. Woo. Let's. Is there any bounties? There's one right there. Let's go for that. 
Unless we can see somebody in the sky when we're flying in over here. Oh, nice. There's a plate right here. Might as well go and loot up where we can. Need to get at least a little bit of something. Yo, this, this shit that you get from this is crazy. The movement speed and everything is nuts. There's a guy underneath me in here. Tactical nuke inbound. Yes, sir. You're executed, buddy. Got another one. Nope. <laughs> Wait. Wha Wha how did he? How did he cancel it? Dude, that was crit. He just canceled it like that. I don't even know what to say. Oh, there's a guy right there crossing. I wonder if I can cross here without getting killed. There's people fighting up top. Yeah, he's definitely going inside this building. He's probably going for the bounty. I'm gonna try and take him out. I don't know where this nebula bomb is going off at. Nebula five bomb has detonated in the distance. Nope. What? Come on, get me there. Get me there, Callies. Get me there. Nope, not gonna happen, buddy. I'm pretty sure there's a guy in the main building over here. Let's see. We could probably hit that redeploy and go for the guy. Yeah, there's two people fighting in here. Whoa. There's no way this guy was playing like that, bro. Maybe he'll come back up here. I don't know. These guys were camping so hard in here, though. Like, super rat of the century vibes. Like, I know what I do is kind of ratty, but, like, that was on some other level shit, bro. At some point, we are going to need to get self-res. I really don't want to get in a situation where I get stuck by a Simtex or, like, a Thermite or something, and it just kills me, and I just, you know, I'm done for for the game. Oh. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy luck, bro. Oh, and a Muni? Dude, what kind of luck is this? Some crazy ass luck. This guy must be either in this build. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's 100% in this building. Oh, he's got TTV in his name. Oh, he sees me. Definitely sees me. Mm -mm. Enemy soldier nearby. He's executed. All oh, one's nearby. No one's nearby. He's right there. Nice try, buddy. Nope. Nope. What? Oh. Oh, <laughs> Holy shit. I got so lucky getting that kill though. That it should not have happened the way that it did. Yo, Caldera might just be a freaking vibe at this point. It's been fun so far. It really has been. There's a big game there, big game, and, and big game. Both of these are so far away though. Wait. Is there another one over there? Oh shit, I'm in That's so unfortunate, dude. I thought we were making a great play here and I just got completely torched. I don't even feel comfortable moving out here at all. Maybe we could make it there if we just run for our life at this point. I'm gonna try it. Nope. Damn. He's dead. I will take that. Uh, precision. We get some plates. And I'm just dipping. I'm not taking the vehicle. I feel like I'm going to get blown up if I take it. Uh, of course. Uh, of course, dude. Thanks, man. Thanks, brother. Thanks, brother. Appreciate all the love taps. 
Oh, of course, dude. Oh, I don't think you can see me here. I hope that dude just like calms down and stops shooting at me. I think that was the guy that pushed me or that was shooting me from oh. He's inside Nothing's up top actually He's executed. Let's go, dude. Holy shit. We have so much cash. It kind of sucks that we couldn't get, uh, you know, a shit ton of stuff when stuff was cheap, but we'll make do with what we have here. Muni, self, and another UAV. Yeah, that guy over there that's just chilling in that building is going to be watching the hell out of this. There's a guy here and guy over there, and there's also one this way. I could try and push that, but I feel like he's going to be like, yeah, like second level and just end up killing us when I try to push it. I think I'm just going to chill in here for a bit and just kind of wait it out and just just see what happens, see who pushes, see if somebody lands back in on their loot. We got 11 kills here. I don't want to do something stupid and end up getting ourselves killed. I know I'm camping. I know somebody's going to say like, dude, you're camping. You complain about people sitting in corners. This is strategical non-movement at this point. If I go rushing out towards somebody, I'm going to get torched, beamed, and I'm going to die and it's going to ruin the whole game. And I'm also not saying I prefer to play like this. I wish I could rush out and get myself in a good position to actually get a good amount of kills. But this map is different than Verdansk. Verdansk, you could just drive around in the Bertha and you were good. As long as you had a trophy on that bitch, you were set. This map's a whole different ball game, bro. If I get over 10 kills, I'm happy. I'm not giving up my position here. I feel like I got a great position, and this circle is probably going to bless us here. And if it doesn't, then, hey, it is what it is. We're just gonna... Yep, I knew it. I knew we are going to get blessed here. I knew there was a reason why I chilled in this area. Sometimes you just got to play the long game. I'm calling this UAV in. Yep, there's two over there. This guy's down low over here. I'm chasing him down. Nope. What? Bruh. Oh. Nope. Dude, we don't talk about that, alright? What is this guy doing down here? What is this man doing? Nope. Nope. Dude, I can't believe this is happening right now. I'm chasing this little shit down and I'm probably going to end up dying by somebody else. I gave up good position up there too. He's dead. Nope. I keep missing all my stuns, dude. Didn't miss that one, that's for sure. Nope, I'm so dead, bro. I'm dead. Oh, oh. I don't think I can even... Yeah, I probably can get up here. There he is right there. He notices me now. Yes, he's executed. Let's go. Please, no cluster strike land on us. Woo. We got the dub. I played that in game so freaking terrible. <laughs> that was
one's so pathetic. I'm just getting back into Warzone, though. You guys got to cut me a little bit of slack on that one. I played the long game, though. The long game definitely worked. We got our dub, and uh, we got a lot of funny reactions that game, too. I just wish I was a little bit more efficient with those stuns, because sometimes in those situations, you miss a stun, you are just completely dead. I got lucky with that last guy. He just kept running and running and running. Nobody said anything in the in-game chat. I mean, 13 kills is not terrible, man. Definitely halfway decent with how melee weapons and, and knifing is in Warzone now, but hopefully you guys end up enjoying the video. If you did, as always, make sure you drop a like down below, and I'm going to catch you guys on the next one, man. Peace out.